made this morning. So we are going to be doing a facial do at home, do it yourself treatment at home in the winter time. And I'll go through step by step on what you can do with random products um, so that you're doing it in the right order. And this is for Christmas time. So if your skin is starting to look like Frosty the Snowman, delicate and flaky, then you may be interested in doing this facial at home using these products. So as a part of Skin Store's Skin Edit Select box here, this is their special that they are having along with all these products here. These are going to be the ones that are not in the actual protocol that I'll be doing step by step. Although you can include this if you would like. But the ones that we're going to be focusing on is these products. The Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Shrink Daily Peel, the Pumpkin Enzyme Peel, two hydrating serums, as well as a vitamin C uh, serum here, the Phoenix one, a collagen hydrator, another uh, moisturizing cream, as well as a sunscreen here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be using Skin Store's Select Edit Box. Um, I'm gonna be showing you an example of when you get a subscription box or a box that has all these different items in there. Here is a very good example of how you can use them and in what order. Now this is very generally speaking and I will try to um, include some exceptions to this and this video is actually being sponsored by them. I did receive a um, the free box and it normally, it, it retails for $77.70 and that's already, I think they said it was like 30% off but with the link below you get an additional 10% off so that will be in the description below. Okay, so the first thing is it's winter time so you have to be very careful in how you do peels and acid peels and things like that. It is definitely the season for that, um, but this is what you have to be careful of, okay? So the first thing is, if you have oily skin, you're using an, uh, it has some oil in your foundation or a liquid foundation, if you uh, used a cleansing oil or a balm to remove your makeup even though you rinsed it off you still have remaining oil on your skin and that could be a barrier between the acids that you're using so it's not quite as effective for some people for people who have dry mature skin that actually can act as a buffer between the acid and the skin but for those of you who have oily skin, you may want to strip that down even more. So they included the Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. And these are basically um, alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids in a peel. Okay, so in a, or excuse me, in a peel, in a pad. So if you get something similar to this and you have oily skin, you don't have sensitive skin, what you're gonna do, and I'm not gonna use these because my skin has been really dry. I've been doing so many video demonstrations with my clients that I'm not gonna do that, okay? So um, my skin is just like oversensitized, I think, right now. So you're going to take one of these and then you're going to actually uh, strip down your, your face. You're gonna wipe down the excess oil if you've had one of the above. Okay, so after that dries, then you can actually do, this one is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme. And I actually used to do a pumpkin special at my, um, at my brick and mortar and it actually would start selling in August. People would start reserving in August because I, I would sell out every year. So this is not it. I would use a professional one, but you can use this one at home. So what you can do with this is I recommend using a um, silicone brush versus one that is Taclon. Taclon is, is good and it's um, hair. I don't recommend because when you use a hair-based facial brush, the acids and the enzymes in the product is going to break it down. It's also gonna break down the glue so the hair 
will start or the bristles will start falling off. So um, I would use this one. This is what I would recommend because when you use something like this with your fingers, which they don't recommend, professionals don't do it either, is you can get the acids trapped inside your nail bed and your cuticle and you can get what is called bar rot. It's a slang term that bartenders get. It's very common because they're working with citric foods and that citric acid gets inside and they're not rinsing their hand every time. They're just kind of wiping their hands and they continually do it all throughout their shift um, and they can get that. So what you want to do is you can get this and you can put it on top of your brush like this. Okay. So for those of you, again, if you have oily skin or breakout prone skin, or you use an oil-based makeup remover, you want to probably use this first, okay? If it's included. Then you're gonna take the actual peel. So this one is a pumpkin enzyme peel, and it actually is a combination of acids and enzymes, okay? And you're basically going to spread it on. And it should tingle, avoid the eye area. Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this before another consultation, but here we go. Okay, and it smells really good. And this way, when you put it directly on the brush, and if you're interested in the brush, um, I am selling it on my website, and I'll put the link below. It's only like $3.50 or whatever. So you can just put it on here. And then when you're cleaning this off too, Make sure that you rinse it with soap and water really well, towel dry it, and then you're gonna wipe it down with a rubbing alcohol with a paper towel or a, I wouldn't do a cotton ball because there's too much lint in it, but it's like a two by two, just wipe it down and then air dry, okay? Okay, so you're gonna put this on. And normally when I'm doing a peel in the treatment room, obviously I'm wearing gloves. So I'll take my fingers and kind of, you know, gloved hands and massage it through. But since I'm not wearing any gloves, I'm just gonna keep massaging it in using my Taclon brush. Taclon, I keep saying Taclon, it's actually silicone uh, spatula brush, okay? And you're just gonna massage it through. Okay, and it is normal for it to tingle because the pH is going to be really low. Okay, so we're going to jump to after me rinsing the stuff or towel drying it off. So one of the things you want to do is with warm water, you want to use a towel. These are actually facial towels so you can bleach them and they don't actually bleach out. But you want to use something that is not going to stain. So you're just going to gently towel off this whole, and it, it should tingle and burn a little bit. That's normal. And you'll see my skin will start to be a little bit red. And make sure you get the crevices in here, okay? So the thing is, you wanna do this first because when you just use your hands and rinse off with water, parts of it get can get into your scalp and like behind the, the neck area right here. So you wanna towel it off first. Okay, then you would rinse off once most of the product is off. Okay, so here's a pro tip. When I usually do this, obviously I'm not doing it filming myself, but when I'm doing this, I usually like to do this actually in the shower. And, and the reason why is because when you're rinsing it off, You'll, you know that all of it is coming off. You're not getting anything that where you didn't rinse it off or wipe it down. Um, and then later you develop a rash, realizing that the dermatitis was caused by not rinsing off the um, enzyme or acidic peel well enough. So I usually like to do it in the shower and then it comes off, okay? So that's a pro tip. Okay, then after you're done with the peel, you have a choice. This one, this packet comes with the Phoenix 15% uh, Pure Vitamin C and E Serum. If you can see that, let's see if I do that. Okay. 
you can do the if you if you have a vitamin C serum in your um, in your box, you want to put that on first. Okay, if you have something that has hyaluronic acid serum, such as this one, so I took it out of the box here, but this is the pure hyalur oh, let's see if you can see it. Pure hyaluronic acid serum. It actually comes in this. You can see that better. Okay. Or it comes with another, this one's a lipos liposome de decorte one here. Okay, so if that, if it comes with a water-based serum, you don't put that on first if you have a vitamin C or an active serum, um, a serum first, okay? So you always want to put the active one on first, okay? So if you don't want to use the vitamin C, you have sensitive skin, and you don't want to use that, you just want to use the hyaluronic acid serum, especially being winter time, the air is drier because the heat is on, then what you can do is you can use a toner. So you would spray your toner on first while your skin is moist, then you can do the hyaluronic acid serum, okay? Or a moisture water-based serum because that hyaluronic acid needs that moisture. Okay, it's going to bind to the moisture, the water droplets on top of your skin. Okay, so for the sake of the demonstration, this one, if you look, right, it's an it's a like an oil-based one. So you're gonna put that on first, and you're going to just apply it on the skin. Okay, so you would put it all over your skin. Oh, I'm holding this here, whoops. And right after you do a peel and you put a, ser a serum on, your skin should feel really smooth because it took off a lot of that dead skin. So you have a lot of that, uh, your skin is very even texture, okay? So as you can see, it's kind of shiny. It is oil-based. Well, it's not oily, but you can tell that it's because it needs to be, right? Because it, you, it, if it has the vitamin E, vitamin E is oil soluble and vitamin E helps keep the vitamin C from breaking down, then it's gonna have it, which is why um, some people who use a vitamin C serum, they tend to break out, which is why SkinCeuticals came up with the flow, um, the Floritin or Florectant um, one that did not have the oil. Okay, so then what you would do is you would just let it set for a little bit, okay? Don't jump to the next product right away, especially when it's vitamin C, because it can dilute a lot of it, right? If you put the product on right on top of it, right after. So we're just going to wait a little bit, and what I like to do is I tell my clients to not, you want to use the back of your hands and then feel, okay? And then if it's not sticky or tacky, they can go on to the next part, okay? And then if you're not using the vitamin C, and it is a water-based hyaluronic acid like this one, oh, I'll hold up the this one right here, or a, another water-based serum, you can use that as well. Now, preferably you're doing this in the evening and you're not doing this during the day. You would, I would never recommend doing um, using any ingredients that are photosensitizing during the day, especially if you have hyperpigmentation. So I, I would recommend you're using this at night. Okay, but the day after in the morning, this comes with the CC Dull Correct it is an automatic perfector, boost of radiance, even complexion. This is an SPF 25 sunscreen. Now, please note that this is not a, a pure mineral sunscreen. It's a combination sunscreen, which means it is a combination of chemical su sunscreen as well as physical sunscreen. So they mix the zinc oxide and the titanium dioxide, which is the physical sunscreen. Do I have the box here? Um, yeah, so it has the, 
uh, some of the chemical sunscreens as well. So if you are sensitive to that, uh, what I would recommend is that you not use this right after you've done your peel, okay? Because your skin can be more sensitive, so stick with a mineral sunscreen. But for those of you who have average skin, you should be okay. So let's use this together. I haven't used this. Oh, it's purple, right? The purple sunscreen. Okay, and hold on here. It just adjusts to your skin zone, so let's see if it adjusts. Okay. It does have like a fragrance to it. Okay, so another note I do want to say is if you buy something and it's fragrance free, it doesn't mean it doesn't have a masking agent in there. So what a lot of people don't know is that when you're combining all these different ingredients for a skincare product and it says fragrance free, they may be adding a masking agent to it to mask the smell of it. So just because there's no fragrance, it doesn't mean that they haven't added something to mask the smell of it. So be careful in the labeling, okay? Okay, so it does, that's pretty amazing. It does adjust to that. Okay, and that one is included. And I only used it on one side of the face so you could see, okay? But if it's in the evening, so you, you know you have your vitamin C on there. Let's say for those of you who have dry mature skin, if your skin is dry or lacking water after the vitamin C, feel your skin, okay? If it's not tacky, I would recommend, what I recommend for my clients is the brightening biopeptide toner. I, I don't recommend any toners that have alcohol in it. I don't uh, recommend any toners that have AHAs and BHAs in there for most people. Okay, so I would put a toner, and then after the toner, um, you can, if you want to, you don't have to, but you can. So let's use the, so I put the vitamin C, and then I'm going to use this one on top of it. You can if you want to. You're going to apply this product on, right? and your skin will be super moist after doing the toner. Then after that, you would put eye product on here. Now this, this uh, box doesn't have the eye product on here, okay? And it does have the Eye Smile Reusable Wrinkle Smoothing Patches. Now, with all wrinkle patches, you have to put it on dry skin because if you have product on your skin and you put it on it will not stay on okay so how all of these patches and I'll put a link up here uh, to why this may work for the short term but not necessarily for the long term okay and that's going to be up there okay um, so then after that on moist skin you can apply, so this one was included, the Vino Source Hydro Cream Hydration, right here. But also, uh, another one that they included was the Collagen Hydrator. Now this cream actually is pretty hydrating, especially for mature skin, especially when you put it on moist skin. So this works really, really well. Um, although I will say this, so you all have to know that when it says collagen in the title, you cannot, collagen as a molecule is too large to penetrate the skin. So you cannot add collagen topically. You, your skin has to produce it, your fibroblasts, you have to stimulate that and that produces the collagen and elastin. So that's the rich cream right here, okay? I'm just doing a little bit here because again, I'm gonna have to take all this off for my appointment. Okay, so, and it doesn't have any smells, so I like that. Okay, so that is the collagen hydrator. That, it's, it feels really good on the skin. And then this one here, I haven't tried this one yet. This one is a lighter texture. 
even though it says intense hydrator, it feels good on my skin. It must have, does it have silicone? No, it does not have, but it does have beta glucan in it. So that actually moisturizes the skin and reduces inflammation. Okay, so it also included a moisturizing renewal cream Revive, I think it is, and it says it's a nightly retexturizer. Now, whenever you see the word retexturize in there or sm or smoother sometimes, it usually means there's an exfoliating ingredient in there. Not always, but a lot of times it does. So in this case, it has, and it does actually say that it has glycolic acid. Now it's the fourth ingredient, so it is pretty high up there, and you're it's a cream, so you're not rinsing it off. So if you have, once again, if you have oily skin and you don't have sensitive skin, you don't have hyperpigmentation, you can use this and um, you can even dilute it. So if you have semi-sensitive skin, you can even try it. Is What you can do is you can combine a little bit of this with, um, oh, I put it away, the, any of the creams that it includes, like so this one here, and then the collagen hydrator, you can mix it to dilute the exfoliating agents and so your skin won't be sensitized. So I don't really recommend um, most people using a leave-on AHA. However, you can, if your skin is very resistant, you tend to have oily skin, you tend to have maybe some bumpy skin, or you can just use it for your neck. But please remember, and um, it doesn't actually even say on the label, now it may say it inside, um, whenever you're using this, it does make your skin photosensitive. So just be aware of that, okay? So that is included in that as well. So I hope that helped in the order of how you're going to use them. And I will put up here, so let's review real quick. Here's a photo of how we're going to use the products, right? It included the, so there's no cleanser in this box. So it included on here the two exfoliators. So that was the peel and the pumpkin enzyme, okay? And then the next one was the two serums, and you have a choice. You can use the you, you you use the vitamin C always first, unless you can't use the vitamin C, then you would go straight to the hydrating serums. And if it's a water-based serums that doesn't have any active ingredients in it, then you can actually use it with a toner. Um, that way you're not diluting the anti-aging ingredients in that. And then while your skin is moist, then you can add the moisturizer. So if you want to use, and it also comes with, and this really works, is the, I use this as a night hand cream, a nourishing hand cream. It looks like it's the full size here. So as you can see, I already started using this one. And it also comes with the Aesop, um Resurrection Rinse-Free Hand Mist. Okay, so hope you found that helpful. And if you want me to do more of these types of demonstration, live demos or demonstration videos on products and how you actually use them correctly, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And uh, go. the links in the special will be in the links below and then let me know on what specific things that you want to know about when you get a subscription box or if you've ever gotten one. Okay, so remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science.